Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to write chemistry lab manual. Okay. Now let's learn. So as usual way there are this in this content. So, let us see that one experiment. Let us choose that one will be identification of gases. We have to write let it be experiment number one. So whatever date that date you have to mention. Then here it is written no identification of gases. So heading or topic will be identification of gases. Identification of gases. Okay. Then we will go for what are the things to write. Then we will have aim of this experiment. Aim of the experiment. What will be the aim of this experiment? Here this one bold letter, little design, this underline, different color pen also you can use for this. So here you can write to identify, to identify the gases. This one here will be apparatus required. Apparatus Required. What are the apparatus we are using for this? We have to write that. Test tube, test tube holder. What are the things we are using? Okay. So, Bunsen burner and all this. Then we will go for another important is chemical required. Chemicals required. What are the chemicals we are using? That one you have to mention here. For example, you are, you are going for the identification of gases. Let it be one example I, I am taking here. Let it be hydrogen chloride we want. We want this identification of gases. To get this ACL, we have to take rock salt or NaCl we have to take. Or potassium chloride we have to take. Okay, this one will be one of these uh, um, chemical. It can be here concentrated H2SO4 also it is written. That is also a chemical. So all together one by one here you can go for that. So one can be NaCl. Huh? Second one it can be concentrated H2SO4. So entire experiment what are the chemicals required? That chemicals we have to write. Whatever you are using, different different gases, different will be there, no? Let it be chlorine. For chlorine, let it be manganese dioxide. That one will be one of this uh, chemical. Here, hydrochloric acid, concentrated hydrochloric acid. That one will be one of these uh, chemicals required. So, entire experiment, what are the chemicals required? That one you have to mention. Okay, so we will go for now some few we will choose whatever teachers according to syllabus will be uh, will give you that one to write. So in that case, let it be first one. Let us go for one example. Let us go for ammonia. Let us go for ammonia. Okay, so here you will write next one. Okay, after that one ammonia. So bracket. This one is NS3. So in this case, see, here we have three columns. These three columns is must. Some books, it is two columns are given. So, but you have to write this. Three. One will be experiment, one column. Second column will be observation. What do you observe? Huh? Second column will be observation. Third one will be inference. Whatever it is given, you have to write that one. And after that, see here, here identification, it is given, confirm ammonia, it is given, you have to write this. But one thing, remember, one only equation you have to write. This one it is over, then you will go for equation, chemical equation. Let it be ammonium chloride, here it will be NaOH, okay, hitting this one, what we are getting? NaCl plus water plus ammonia. See here what are the ingredients we are taking? Ammonium chloride, NaOH. So here it can be NH4Cl. Fourth one can be NaOH. Like this all these things have to write. So here ammonia over this part up to this. Then one line gap you give. Then third one you can go for SCL. The same way 
three columns you will go right after that one you will write for equation so after finishing this one four five six whatever it is under this experiment three four will be there after finishing this one here this right hand side you have to write your name class section roll number this is must after each experiment not each page after each experiment you have to mention experiment number two as usual we date we will put then let us see that here action of heat on the given salt so we will write action of heat on a given salt this one will be action of the heat on a given salt which we should write here in the aim of this experiment we have to write action of heat on the salt so here there will be few salts will be given you have to go for that then then this one will be apparatus required apparatus you are taking for this so in this case what what usually apparatus you take one will be test tube huh then test tube holder test tube test tube holder then uh, this one will be watch glass watch glass then it can be bunsen bunsen burner it can be taken because it is action of heat no so bunsen burner can be taken go for another important that one that one will be chemicals required here chemicals chemicals required so under chemical required what are the salts you have taken let it be copper sulfate heating hydrated copper sulfate so you will take this one will be copper sulfate sulfate crystals Huh. Then what are, whatever this one salt will be given uh, given to you. For example, here you see there are so many are there. Uh, zinc carbonate there, copper carbonate there, lead nitrate there, zinc nitrate there, PbO2, ammonium uh, um, ammonium chloride there. Then copper copper nitrate. Uh, then uh, this uh, uh, iodine crystals. All these are there. Out of that one, whatever will be given to you to do that, that. So that one you can take as the chemicals required. Here, experiment, observation and inference. You have to write. Many books, it is two columns given. Don't go for that. You have to write these three columns. Here, one ex this um, under inference, equation also given. Equations also you have to write. Experiment number 3, that as usual, so here experiment number 3, so in experiment number 3, let us go for detection of anions, okay. Next one, third one, it is detection of anions, we will see, okay. So here it is given in anions, we have carbonate to detect, sulfide, chloride, nitrate, sulfate, sulfide, to detect okay now anion aim of this experiment will be there so let me write on the board collection of anions that one will be heading that is the separate part so here we can write detection of anions detection of anions apparatus required apparatus required under apparatus required so here let it be test tube test tube holder watch glass all these things you can take then we will go for chemicals required this one will be one don't write one two so i am just clarifying i am telling this one this one will be chemicals required chemicals required so this one should be underlined and after this one little bold okay so here this one so here in this case see that in this case whatever things you have taken as the chemical that one you have to mention it okay for example any sulfide you are using so that sulfide let it be zns uh, 
let it be you will uh, use this um, lead acetate paper lead acetate solution all this will come under this chemicals required this one will be the three columns will be there in this three columns one will be experiment column another one will be observation column and the third one will be inference so you have to mention all this as it is given in that lab manual you have to write see that it is given detection of anions this one have to go for that fourth experiment will be detection of cations after anions detection of cations experiment number 4 as usual date then detection of cations so here detection of cations this one will be heading then aim of this experiment detection of detection of cations what cations we are uh, you are going to detect that one to write then as usual apparatus required apparatus required so what are the apparatus you are using test tube test tube holder watch glass huh. if Bunsen burner required that one so all these things will be apparatus then will be chemicals required chemicals required so for one experiment for example this one will detection of cations under this one whatever this chemicals you are using see this is there here detection we are using uh, let it be here NH4OH we are using NaOH using any salt let it be lead salt then let it be um, Fe2 plus salt Fe3 plus salt whatever salts we are using that one it, it can be taken as your chemicals required but one thing remember while you are writing this lab manual it should be in passive voice it can be taken this this much of small amount of salt can be taken or a pinch of salt can be taken in a test tube the salt can be heated it can be added it is added okay so like that you have this these three columns have to write and when we will finish this one this one will be there one will be experiment column another one will be observation column another one will be inference column so after writing this one when this one will be over then what you will do you will write your name class uh, section rule number have to mention here your name class after completion of each experiment you have to mention this one so your name class section will be here name uh, name class section roll number it can be must then let us go for the fifth fifth one fifth experiment let me write this fifth to identify metallic radical metallic radicals are positive radicals okay so metallic radicals by flame test so from here by the color of the flame we can identify the what are the cations or radicals it is taken so here it will be again apparatus apparatus required then it will be chemicals required okay so you can write after this one here this procedure have to write also here have to mention the procedure you have to mention the procedure after that you have to mention this column so all these diagrams you have to draw in this white page okay this one let it be the test tube so simple diagrams in pencil you can have that one 
हाँ देन दिस वन कैन बी बुनसेन बर्नर दिस डायग्राम ऑफ दिस बुनसेन बर्नर यू कैन वी कैन यू कैन ड्रॉ एंड हियर दिस वन विल बी द टेस्ट्यूब टेस्ट्यूब होल्डर ओके सो वॉट एवर द सॉल्ट यू हैव टेकन इफ इफ वी आर हिटिंग दिस वन हिटिंग ऑफ सॉल्ट if there will be something uh, reddish brown let it be nitrogen dioxide reddish brown gas comes out so some you can use the color pencil to write this so to just to show that one this brown color gases comes out like that this side will be this white page don't write anything this is meant for diagrams okay thank you